Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and this is All Things Room. Today we are looking at this, the iVlog 4 smartphone video kit from Movo. Now, why am I looking at this specifically on my channel? Well, honestly, just like I've said in the past, I think it's my job to sort of showcase and help any other beginning creators out there to decide what's good for them. Now, if you guys have seen in the past, I did a Joby vlogging kit as well. And honestly, it's a lot of money and this is not cheap either but it comes with a lot of stuff and if you're just starting out this may be more advantageous for you like the joby kit came with a shotgun mic whereas this comes with a wireless lavalier mic which may be better for you and your content well let's just flip the camera around we'll go into the unboxing and i'll show you how to assemble everything then we'll take it in the field and i'll show you exactly how it works okay and here's basically everything that comes in the box it comes with a instructional packet that is huge this is like a giant book and you know what if you needed glasses guess what you don't need glasses anymore because you could read this without glasses even if you need them everything is printed huge and you know what it's very clear about how everything works one of the things that i really like about this is the fact that literally this is an all-encompassing smartphone video kit, right? It, of course, it says it. However, unlike the Joby, which has a shotgun mic, this literally has an external wireless lavalier mic. That's super exciting. And this comes with a wide-angle lens for your smartphone. So let's just put that aside and let's open up this kit. I love that this comes in its own package very nice very big that's what she said and here it is inside now Movo is very well known for the quality of their products and I'm actually happy to bring you guys more products that have even better quality now let's just start off with the basic stuff the tripod now the last video vlogging kit I did was the Joby Gorilla. This is not a Gorilla tripod, but man, this thing is super, super solid and sturdy for sure. This is all metal construction. This feels like aluminum or, well, this maybe aluminum legs with a steel body. This feels substantial. Let's put this off to the side comes with its own light with a diffuser. That's cool to see. And looks like it's extremely easy to use. That is actually really cool that it has, that's way easier to use than any other mobile light I've ever seen. And it's cool that it has a built-in diffuser. That's good to see. This is gonna be like an extender or some sort of height displacement for your tripod. So if you didn't need it to be so low, you attach this to the top, boom. And you can put your camera at the top or your phone at the top. You can also move this higher as well. So one of the things, these, th these kits, you could basically do whatever you want with them. Don't ever think, now we're gonna build this right after I'm done unboxing it. But you can do basically whatever you want. Sky is the limit. Everything here is universal, and that's the way it is with a lot of this stuff. So an extender right there, or a height displacement, whatever you want to call it, has a little Bluetooth clicker, so you can attach this to your phone. You can hook it up Bluetooth. I have used these in the past. They work just fine. The only issue that I have with this is a lot of times I have the camera pointed down at me, and I don't have the screen visible. So if you don't press play and then see, or I'm sorry, if you don't press record and then see that it's actually recording, sometimes you don't know if it's recording with this. We're gonna test it out. We'll see just how accurate it is, but sometimes you can't just always trust on this. You could be like, okay, it's working. And then all of a sudden you go back and you're like, oh, I spent 20 minutes recording something that actually wasn't recording. Don't 
ever rely on these 100%, but it's here if you want to. Here's the cell phone mount. Okay, now here is basically the mount for something like your light and the wireless receiver for your lavalier mic or whatever else you wanna use. The great thing about something like this is it gives you much more stabilization, I would say, like the Joby Gorilla mount, right? They have arms that can twist around, which is great, but sometimes you just need something sturdy and solid just like this. An 18 millimeter wide angle lens, it's really cool because it gives you more of a cinematic feel. Let's go ahead and put that back. And again, we're gonna build all this again. Here is the mount that attaches the lens to your cell phone. Just a simple click on mount. We have the wireless transmitter. The wireless transmitter is gonna go on the person. The wireless receiver here is gonna go on the camera mount. So let's see, what else do we have in here? Last but not least, we have the wires that connect. Microphone to smartphone. So the receiver is gonna go attached to this and it has a C style charging kit. Let's put all this away and let's build it. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend, like I said in the past, is to use the forward-facing cameras. The reason you use the forward-facing cameras is because these cameras are gonna be far better than anything that's facing you. The high-quality cameras are always facing forward. They have different lenses on them for an automatic zoom, so you're not just using digital stuff, and they're just higher quality. If you need to have it facing you, you just need to have the understanding that the quality is not gonna be nearly as good. So just get used to having it like this and understanding where you are in frame. It takes some time, but honestly, it's not that difficult. So make sure this is clamped in. Now, if you have an iPhone, then you really need an iPhone adapter. And I have one here and I'll use it in just a minute. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this right here and it's super easy this goes to the microphone this goes to your phone so make sure that this is plugged in to the out to the line out and then this is plugged into an adapter that plugs into your phone right here and i'll get that in just a minute so let's talk about the lens now a wide angle lens especially an 18 millimeter wide angle lens is going to give you a more cinematic effect and we'll compare both standard and the 18 millimeter wide angle when I get deeper into the review where you guys hear how well the mic works, how well the light works, and how well the 18 millimeter wide angle lens works. We're just getting initially set up and then we'll dive more deep into it. This is gonna be a longer video. Sorry guys, it's important because this stuff is worth knowing. Now there is a film on the outside. Really important you guys don't touch the lenses of any of your camera lenses. And if you do, make sure they're, they're cleaned off. The last thing you want is a smudge print. These are super easy, literally just clips on to your camera, like so. That's it, and we're completely set up. Now, this takes batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and get batteries for this. I'm gonna charge this, and I'm gonna start filming from the viewpoint of the actual camera. So you guys understand the difference between the wide angle and the standard, then we'll test out the microphone. You can understand what it's like without the microphone, and then with the microphone, both with your phone and without. So let's just go ahead and switch right to my phone. Okay, so right now is basically the true vlogging experience. I am outside walking down this trail that you see behind me. Now the reason I'm on this trail specifically is because I want to add the 18 millimeter wide angle lens to the camera so you understand the dynamic range that it offers in the background. Now right now I have a slight headwind that's coming directly at me so if you hear anything it's directly coming from the microphone and you understand how it is in the outdoor experience. Now let's flip over to the lens. 
Now here is everything together in the entire kit. This is the microphone, this is the rig, this is the extension, this is the tripod that I'm holding in my hand, and the light that's mounted on it. Now there's sun in my face, so clearly I don't need the light. Now there is a few things about this kit that you just don't need, but they're there in case you need it. So let's go ahead and get to a different spot and we'll break it down. But here you can understand a little bit about the depth or dynamic range that this 18 millimeter wide angle lens gives you now that you saw it without it. Okay, now I just went out and I used this and there's a few things that I think you should be aware of before you go out and use it. Now I'm gonna show you some video footage and I'm gonna cut between that and this so you have more of an understanding of the dynamic range that comes with this entire setup. Now this setup was $199, $200. Is that is that cheap? No, it's not cheap, but I have reviewed, first let's talk about the microphone. The microphone on this I've used for a long, I've used for a while now. I've had this kit for probably a good solid two to three weeks and I've just been meaning to get out. Uh, it's been raining outside and I really want to get some of the range of the, the 18 millimeter wide angle lens. It's really hard to do it inside. You get better a better idea of outside. Don't even think I did it justice because I did it like in an outdoor environment where everything sort of looks the same. So when I reviewed the video, it really looked, just looks like I added like a little bit more. That being said, the microphone itself, I have reviewed wireless microphone systems on this channel that costs 150 bucks for just the system itself, not $200 for an entire kit, but $150 for just the microphone system. And what I ended up doing is going back to my wired lavalier mic because that just sounded better. Well, I've been using this system for every review that I've done after I got this, after I did the initial unboxing, and I found out that their microphone is just so much better and so much cheaper than the other mics. So that is already a huge positive in my eyes. The light on top of this, the light's, the light's great, right? And not just is it great, but it offers a lot of capability on the back. Right, you can easily turn it off. You can, you can easily turn it on. You know, it goes through, it cycles through. Right, it it offers to me um, a lot of range, especially with just a simple box light with a diffuser on the front. I'm just going to take this off for just a moment because I'm going to talk about this. So when I first did the unboxing, I didn't realize that this actually not only has an extra bit of height to it most vlogging kits offer you simply the tripod right so if you're going to go out and you're going to vlog you're going to be looking down and that doesn't look good for anybody most people want to have their camera at somewhat of an angle sort of looking down to give their face more of a slimmer feature well not only does this have this but then it also extends up further lock it in place and then you actually have a kit that gives you that all built into one, right? I'm sitting at my desk right now. This is approximately, my phone was on it. It's approximately, you know, four inches above the center part of my nose, which means it'll give me a nice little angle down. That's great to see. One of the things I like about this is the phone locking system, right? Put the phone in, screw it down, nice padding here, locks into place. And guess what? Your phone's not gonna go anywhere. On the back here, same thing. Offers a locking and unlocking feature so that you can screw it down in place. You have these measurement tabs right here, these levels that allow you to level everything if you want it to be perfect. I mean, they basically thought of everything on this camera rig. Now let me talk about something they really, you know, most people don't need. They don't need a dual-handed system up here for vlogging. Now, some people, if they're filming with another person, may want to use something like this. It's just not necessary, but it's nice to have. And I say it because let me show you a side-by-side -side of me just walking down a path. First one is gonna be me walking down the path, holding it like this, as if anybody else on any other vlogging system would do, right? They'd walk around, they'd look like this. We're not talking about a full three-axis gimbal setup, which I actually have, but we're just talking about holding it like this, walking, right? Now the second one is gonna be me holding this and walking in the exact same path. 
and it does offer a lot more stabilization because you have both hands on a point. It's sort of like driving in a car, right? You have much more control over the camera or your car when you have both hands on the wheel, and it does offer a lot more stabilization. That's nice to see too, but you don't need it, right? I built this thing and I, I put everything on here that they offered, but you just don't need it. And you can say, well, Chase, well, what about, you know, if I want to add a light and the microphone receiver, because the microphone receiver right now is on my camera that I'm filming right now. And the reason is because, you know, I use it as my general microphone because I really do. I really do like it. I think it's just top quality. Let me take this off. So again, this isn't necessary, but it's nice to have if you're gonna be filming your friends or you're even gonna be filming by yourself, but you just wanna take really smooth shots without having to worry about like adding a 3-axis gimbal to make it even more smooth. That would be the smoothest way is a 3-axis gimbal, but this also gives you a lot more variability when it comes to being smooth and accurate with your shots. You can use this. Well, this itself is basically all you need. And if you wanna break it down any even further, let's just break it down even further. So I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna add this on, right? Everything here, it's so adaptable to what you need. And that is the word I would use, it's adaptable. It's extremely adaptable to everything that you need, right? Everything from the mount right here. I mean, everything is just so well done. Now, if I wanted to, I could put the light on top. Then if I wanted to, using the same sort of horseshoe, I think uh, clamps is what they're called, um, which is on the receiver. You can go ahead and add that to here, add it to here, add it to here. And now you have an even smaller setup, easier for travel, easier for vlogging. I mean, honestly, I think Mobo has just really, when they sat down and the designers came up with this, they were like, hey, what are we gonna do to offer the best value in a kit? And they honestly did. I, I, I love this thing. Now, the 18 millimeter camera lens, um, it does offer a wider field of view. Um, and I'll show you in just a minute, but it does offer a wider field of view. But I mean, it's really not that noticeable unless you're in a, an environment that is that has a lot of different dynamics to it. And I say that as in, if I had a mountain range behind me, not just a single mountain. Right? if I had multiple things around me. But the problem is, is where I was, there was trees all around me and I was on a path and really, you really, it's hard to tell when there's more trees in the trees, if you understand what I'm saying, as opposed to if I were to take it on the top of a mountain, right, you would see that, oh, it doesn't just show three mountains, it shows four and a half mountains, right? Or if I was in an urban environment in the city, it would open up the block a little bit more. Well, I wasn't really able to do that, but honestly, if you want my final thoughts on this, I think this thing is a great setup. Is it worth 200 bucks? Man, this thing is worth 400 bucks, honestly. With everything that it gives you, even when, when it comes to lenses, I have lenses, right? I bought macro lenses. Now, are they the? is this the best lens? No, but it's pretty good for adding into a vlogging kit. And the reason I say that is because if you really wanna get into photography on your phone, they offer camera cases that have camera lenses that clip right on. They don't clip on like this. This is a hassle-free feature, right, of doing it on the go, but they make them so that like you can, you can click in and screw in the camera lens so it's always perfectly centered. When you have to clip on a camera lens, you have to make sure that it's perfectly centered because if it's not perfectly centered, you get a hazing on the outside of the photograph and it just doesn't look very good or the video just doesn't look very good. So you just have to be very, very aware when you're clipping on the camera lens of what you're doing. If you really wanna get into photography with your phone, I would recommend getting one of those, right? A case that has the ability to clip on, right? To screw in a camera lens. And honestly, some of the camera lenses out there for phones are like $200 a lens, which is the same price you'd pay for a camera lens for like a DSLR camera. So phones have great camera capabilities if you know exactly how to use them. Is this terrible? No, it just gives you something more to work with, a building block, a stepping stone to add to your experience. Now, like I said, this thing is worth far more than what I think they're offering. And I think that if you bought this setup, 
you would not be disappointed, especially if you're starting a YouTube channel or you just love to do travel vlogs or whatever you're doing. I think this is, if you're gonna start at the starting point, then I think it's a great, or even if you're into it like myself already, I've been doing YouTube for, I would say two years now, and yeah, I only have 4,500 subscribers at the moment of this video dropping. However, I've gone through a lot of vlogging equipment, a lot of microphones, a lot of tripods and uh, phone mounts just to find something that works. And if this is what you're going for, honestly, even now, two years into it, I'm gonna be using this probably more than anything else that I have, minus my giant tripod that I'm filming this on now, my full-size tripod that I'm filming this on now. So honestly, I'm gonna leave a link down below and no way do I have an affiliate link with them. So anything that you do through that link, I don't get anything extra, but honestly, I think that you would be very, very happy if you were to get a rig just like this. I think that you would not be not be disappointed in how your money's being spent. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I have so many more videos coming up in the future, so make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time. Plane, small planes. There's always small planes flying by the house. Welcome to Alaska. Everybody owns a plane.